Keeping venomous reptiles is an unforgiving hobby, requiring proper training and lots of experience. One simple mistake can be the difference between life and death. death, death. Remember, the most venomous snake in the world oh, is the whoa. one that just bit you. There are no venomous snakes with training wheels. Just because you see Viper Keeper handle snakes a certain way does not mean you should try it too. The Grim Reaper here is not the friendliest uh, snake in the collection. His parents are absolutely docile compared to him. Uh, he absolutely positively is uh, is looking for action. Uh, you can see his high rate of respiration and his very stiff body posture. Uh, he is always ready to rumble and that's not a snake you really want to rumble with. Um, hi there. How you doing? Huh? Do you want something to eat? That is the whole purpose of me visiting. Uh, not to wind you up. So let's uh, let's go ahead and get some food for him. Yes, I see you. His other nickname is Mr. Mouthy because he moves his lip uh, uh, when he's very pissy. Uh, looks like he's mumbling, I'm going to kill you. And he really is. Uh, uh, that was certainly something he would do. So, uh, with, uh, with that said, let me uh, grab uh, some food and uh, get ready to feed him. <laughs> oh yes, you're just uh, oh, one very dangerous creature. Okay, so uh, let's see if this makes him happy. Oh no, uh, he is just just a little toad. Oh, kill that mouse or rat in this case. What? What are you thinking? What? Only one? No, I'll give you some additional ones. Hang out for a second. Why don't you go get busy with that? I know, we're watching you. Go ahead. He obviously doesn't want to occupy his mouth and miss the opportunity to kill me. Now, although these are found in Papua New Guinea, uh, genetically they're very closely related to coastal type bands in Australia. Uh, so much so they've sort of removed the subspecies label and uh, these are just uh, Oxoranus scutellatus. I still call them Papuan taipans because that's 
what they're where they're from and their coloration is a little different they've, they've got these uh, nice orange stripes down their back and their venom composition of course is very different than coastals uh, these have more of a hemorrhagic uh, uh, component than the coastals uh, and the Australian antivenin uh, doesn't necessarily neutralize it as well as as it does coastal taipans. That's why Dave Williams uh, and uh, the Institute of Chloropicado in Costa Rica uh, made a monospecific antivenin for the Papuan taipans. Uh, both for to improve effective uh, neutralization of the Papuan venom but also it's a clean modern uh, anti-venom with uh, at a much better price than uh, one could be uh, had by purchasing Australian antivenin. So I'm going to slowly back off here and close his door until he's ready for the next one. Okay, Mr. Mouthy worked uh, his last uh, one down. So I will uh, I will offer him another. It's hard to tell sometimes uh, if he actually connected. That time he definitely did. And like Taipan's, like his parents, when he's very excited, he'll follow any movement at all. And I don't want him following the hook outside the uh, cage uh, and up the hook uh, to where my hand is. Fortunately, he didn't do it this time. Uh, he understands that uh, uh, food is in the offing, and I'm not here to uh, uh, to pick a fight. So we'll let him uh, eat this one. I'll shut the door again for safety for all involved, and come back uh, when he's got that one uh, licked, so to speak. All right, hello, you little beastie. Yes, you can uh, have a conflagration all on your own. We're done with you for today. Well, we'll give uh, Slinky a bit of uh, time out of his cage. Slinky doesn't uh, get a whole lot of enrichment these days, uh, but he looked like he was interested in coming out, so we will let him come out and we will see what his uh, behavior and demeanor is. This is certainly very interested in him. Hey, what's up, dude? 
Are we gonna go down, huh? Down is forbidden. Down is forbidden. Come on. You need to stay up. There you go. No, we're not. <laughs> We're not, up is not the operative word here, there, Slink. Stay up on your tabletop. Oh, I can see this is not going to go well. So. you just uh, reverse course and go back into your cage or just sit there We still see a curious tongue flick, not a warning tongue flick, so we're okay. Go ahead, dude. Prevent that uh, snake hook from sliding around and uh, perhaps him uh, falling on the floor, which would really alarm him and cause a major conflagration. Come on, dude. Come on. Now we got the warning tongue flick and the head twitch. Well, he's not uh, not ready for, for prime time yet. Uh, just an experiment to see how he would behave, and it's questionable. Uh, well, it's Saturday morning, and I was away this week, so I just started to 
survey the situation and visit with everybody and Mr. Puffy was up at the front of the cage the way he normally is so I opened it up and he's decided that he will um, inch forward and check out the uh, environment right now that is not his typical defensive posture although we could get him in his defensive posture really quick so this is sort of inquisitive mode and there we go a little bit defensive there What is that? You see yourself, dude? Huh? Yeah, we were just discussing that we would uh, we would certainly let animals come out and. Uh, explore a little bit as for some enrichment and stuff it's just that they get end up usually getting quite stressed at the situation and uh, that of course is not good for the animal usually end up going off feed yeah is that camera scary huh is that camera scary dude At one point he was out so he could reach down and tongue flick uh, uh, the shelf there and below. responding to my hand movements. Yeah, you can't see, but Mrs. Viper Keeper is sort of playing Snake Charmer off to the side and he's responding to her hand movements. Are you playing shy now? Is it hide and seek? Yeah, yeah he's not in, in a real uptight 
defensive posture. Um, that's when his head is tipped way down, like that, and it's a bit defensive. But he is. sort of investigating. I think in the beginning, of course, when the, the glass is opened, uh, it's usually only for feeding time. You know, unlike so many other YouTubers out there, Viper Keeper and Steve Irwin wannabes, uh, you know, we don't uh, open the cages and take animals out to play. Uh, these are not... Uh, animals that you would play with uh, uh, we prefer not to disturb them uh, and take them out for show and tell occasionally we will have an animal out for various reasons and we will uh, we'll do sort of a tabletop but normally we don't take snakes out unless there's a a good reason to have them out. So uh, we're gonna stop here and we're gonna close the cage door. You will probably become highly offended as usual. You know, watch your snoot there, dude, okay? Yeah, I know. You give you plenty of warning. Yes, and we don't use our fingers normally for closing cages. You'd be surprised how quick they can come around the end of that cage. Uh, both uh, Lori and I have had experience with that. <laughs> um, in my opening trailer that you see with every video, um, yeah, I was sort of eliciting some very interesting strikes and stuff uh, uh, just for excitement purposes but uh, I was expecting them to do that uh, but it's when you don't expect them and you're not on guard that you end up uh, uh, getting into serious trouble so eh, we'll, uh, we'll let Mr. Puffy settle down uh, and we'll move on and uh, visit with other animals